the wide angle lens, dude. Look at this. I can get like this enclosure, as you know, is complete. She's absolutely massive. You staying nice and cool? Check this beautiful landscape out. Oh my god, you're adorable. Look at him. What is going on, fellas? Welcome back to another video here. All the blonde is uh, cut off for now. I gotta let it grow back, and then I'll probably re-dye it. But we're we're brown again. We we. It looks a little different and, and weird, but we're brown again. What's going on, Carreros? Welcome back to another video here. Today, I'm giving you an update on the yard. This property itself, I haven't filmed a video here in over a week, so now is the time. I'm gonna update you on everything. It's super windy, like tropical storm type windy out here right now. I don't know why all of a sudden, Florida. But we have a lot of stuff to show you. All the landscape in the front is nearly done. Um, a couple of things I just wanna update you with the animals. I also went to the Repticon show the other day out here where I live. That was cool, filmed some of that, so I'll put that in this video. So I'm excited for this one. Um, our goats are pregnant, or one of them is at least, I know that for a fact. So these are our two goats, Fawn and Fiona. And look at how fat she is. She's absolutely massive. See that, oh, you see the belly just kick right there? Was that a kick? I don't know. We can have goats this week sometime, maybe. She's like heavy breathing too. And then this one over here is super fat, but I don't think she's like as far along as, as this one is. Donkey, donkey. Where you going? So yeah, this enclosure over here is going good. Absolutely perfect. Two goats, donkey, now our pigs. Look at Mama Lulu inside the chicken coop. Can you see her? We got Daisy, we got Pua, Duke, Baloo, Bubba. That's Pops over there. And then Mama's sleeping in here. Hi, Mama. You staying nice and cool? Huh? She's like, mm-hmm. I was sleeping and then you interrupted me. Okay, sorry. A lot of egg. Oh my gosh, I was gonna say a lot of eggs and chicken sitting on them right now. Keep it up, chicken. I gotta get this video out for you guys though. I need to update you on everything that's going on. Okay, so yeah, everything around here going good. Let's see what Lady May is up to. Lady May? Oh yeah, she's over there. See you in the back corner laying down. Ducks now. Let's show you the ducks. Look at them all. I feel like the ducks are grown. Like, I could be wrong, but I feel like they're definitely grown. Am I right? So yeah, we got a total of nine ducks in here. We have our two tortoises over here. One of the trees died, because when you replant trees, only a certain amount of them live. And we had like a couple die, including this one over here, which is, I'll just replace it with one that we actually plant ourselves. This is Spike, the tortoise. Right, Spike? My shadow's covering you a little bit, but Spike's over here. He always like chases me, watch. He doesn't like when anyone is inside his enclosure. See him? He's coming right at me. No thanks. But yeah, this tree right here is good. It's still giving Spike much cover. But this one over here is, uh, it's dead. So it's still providing shade and cover, but it's just not alive anymore. And there he is. It's, what's up, buddy? How are you? Over here, our little piglet enclosure. Hey, little munchkins. Oh my gosh, look at all your rooting. Big rooting, rooting up a storm out here. And look at all of them. They're in a little line. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, all the little tiny hog little piglets are good as well. This enclosure, as you know, is completely empty. This one is right off the side of the other pig one. As you can see, it's pretty dang big, but it's empty. The one in the back is still being, uh, it's still in progress. We were digging a pond, but we didn't get it finished in time, and we had to, we rented that machine, so I gotta have another machine come out, and then we'll keep working on this. But no rush, it's just in the back corner over here, and uh, it's a work in progress. It's a pretty dang big pond though. It is, uh, let me try to get from a down angle, you'll kind of see it. It's pretty big. And yes, surprisingly enough, this is exactly how the pond over there looked with the ducks are in right now. It just takes time, and especially once water gets into it, it'll like all even out. That we need to all flatten out with a, a skid steer, which is just a different machine than what we rented. We rented the excavator, but a skid steer will come eventually and we'll flatten that out. Now this, like I mentioned before, is all another enclosure. I want to build a barn out here. It's just a work in progress as well. I want a specific thing built, and it's gonna take like three to six months because you have to get all the permitting out here, especially with these neighbors I've got. Ugh. Yes, I need to get every bit of permanent. But yeah, that's where that'll go. That's a massive enclosure though. Here's the driveway, it looks good. Taco's here again. Everyone always asks me like what kind of trucks I have. I have the Raptor, I have the Tacoma, and then I have my car. Because every once in a while like my parents and I like swap off. That's why there's always cars in and out of this driveway. But yeah, look how beautiful this is. Now it's, like I mentioned, it's blowing hard right now. But check this beautiful landscape out. My boys, Luke and Zach, killed it. Absolutely killed it. 
Just look at that entrance. Straight down. All along there. So it curves right around here. There's the fire pit. And over here you have a lot of like nice little ground cover plants. But there's rock. See that rock? Mulch. And then it goes back to rock on the back side. I love it. It looks so good. But this exact look right here is exactly what kind of look we're doing on the flip side over there. So you'll see this exact same thing on this side once we are done. We stack rocks up on the back side and fill this in with dirt. That'll go all the way down to here and out to those posts over there on each side. I really hope you could hear me well because it is blowing right now. These trees are sideways. Gravel will be poured down this so you don't drop a foot off in a truck or a car. But gravel will be poured down that over to those gates over there. Well, that's an update outside, like a quick update outside. Now, let me tell you what we did inside the patio now. As you know, the other day I had a bunch of eggs and I put them in one of these tubs right here and I was going to hatch them. Little did I know, the mother is actually sitting on the eggs over there right now, obviously, as you saw. The eggs, it would have, it could have definitely possibly worked, but a friend of mine hit me up and he goes, hey dude, I have an incubator that will rotate and keep the humidity exactly where it needs to be to hatch those eggs. He's like, I'll give it to you, no problem at all. And I was like, oh, say less. So I could not, for my for the life of me, keep those eggs at 99. It was so hard to keep them at 99 degrees. So what we did was get that incubator. So we're gonna make a video on that here soon, hopefully. Hatching the eggs out of the incubator because that's gonna actually hatch the eggs. These chickens have thousands and thousands and thousands of eggs. This little first batch of 30 something. Don't matter that they're gone. Like literally, I just fed them to the pigs. I'm not even kidding you. But literally, I have another 30 something eggs in the thing right now. So we're gonna put those into the incubator and we'll have baby chickens for 100% fat. So what we replaced that with was another bin and a heat lamp. What could I have possibly gotten? I don't know. They are absolutely adorable though. I'll tell you that. They are so, so cute. And it, this one's for Larry. I really did it because of Larry. Larry was a massive part of the channel, as you know. The rooster that always spoke to us. And I'm growing another one. This is exactly how I raised Larry. Except for the tub was right there. But it's right here this time. And we got four little run. Oh, it's Larry right there. But yes, a new Larry. Um, and there's three others as well. But Larry is the little yellow one. Look at him. He's so cute, and the other ones are adorable. That one's name is Munchkin. So I got four little chickens. Here's Larry right here. Larry, come here. Uh, you're definitely not. And this is Larry, okay? So hopefully, Larry, hopefully you grow and you become a really mean rooster. But not like mean to the other ones, just a loud rooster. Baby Larry! Oh my gosh, you are so flipping cute. Look at your little wings. Look at the little wings. You're adorable. Did you know that? Oh my gosh. Okay, Larry. So that's the new Larry. Of course, they'll never be the same Larry as there was, but we got to raise another one. So we got four chickens. Four little tiny chickens and four ducklings. Four ducklings as well, because they were for sale. And they're like two bucks. So yeah, I bought four ducklings and four chickens. Um, I filmed it all, so I'm just going to throw you to uh, the store where I got them. Um... Pick a random one. Random, I did this last time. I'll let you guys pick one. Yeah. And we need a white one. We need to replace Larry. Yeah, that's him. That's the new Larry. And then, um... What about this side? One of these black ones. Yeah. Um... Bigger one. What do you say, buddy? Yeah, one of the big ones. This guy right here. Oh. Got him. Holy crap, that's high. Oh my god, is that a cat? That was a freaking cat. Holy moly. Giant tub. Another one of these, because we already have one at home. Four ducks. A little bit of chickens, because we need to regrow Larry. Another lamp, because we're going to have two now. And then uh, two more things. So, good to go. And food. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Sounds like a farm out here now. Oh, look how cute they are! These guys aren't as friendly as the chickens, obviously, right now. See, they don't like to be held or touched at all, but, I mean, they're ducks and they have really good personality once they get a little bit more mature and trust the owner. Right now, as you can see, they, they don't like to be held at all. But yeah, these guys are mess makers. I just cleaned this this morning, and look at this. 
just cleaned this this morning. Just did new water, everything. And as you can see, it's already a little bit murky. They're crazy, ducks are like that though. Compared to the chickens, haven't cleaned this once yet. And I've had it for two days. But yeah, look at that. We got little uh, enclosures at the front door now. So yeah, I mainly wanted to just update you guys on what's going on around here, but then all of a sudden, bam, uh, I totally forgot I, I filmed getting these, so there's my title and thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god, you're adorable. And your little wing, like, come on, come on. So there's four of them, I got the bigger ones out of the batches of them, and then I have four little tiny munchkin chickens running around. And we're gonna have some baby chickens that grow up just like the other ones did until they got eaten by a coyote. But yeah, that and four ducklings that'll go with the other nine ducks that we got, as you saw earlier. So yeah, uh, also, before I end the video just yet, uh, I gotta show you Repticon. This place was awesome. Um, it's a local reptile show. I think I've been like one other time in my entire life. Enjoy whatever I filmed at Repticon. I don't even think I filmed that much, but I had my phone. So yeah, whatever I filmed, here you go. Wow. Is this insane or what? It's all reptile stuff. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see all sorts of stuff. That's crazy. Look at all the frogs. A blue tongue skink. 250 buckaroos for that sucker? Wow. A whole lot of leopard geckos. Look at them all. Every different kind you could think of. I mean, this is like, look at, oh my gosh. The wide angle lens, dude, look at this. I can get like everything, everything. So here, yeah, we're at one table. Uh, count how many animals you can see at once. Okay, so when I was in Rhoda, the island in the Marianas Islands, this is the crab that was all over and we ate it while we were there. See, I knew I was doing something wrong. None of my tortoises are growing because they don't have a dog bed in their enclosure. Come on, Paul, what are you doing? I'm doing something wrong. I, I knew it. You want, to, you want to be in a video? <laughs> this is Lily. So she just wanted to be in a video, so I wanted to air you on the on YouTube, all right? So you're you're live right now. You're you're famous. You're famous. Say hi. Wave your hand. Hey. Good stuff, Lily. Look at this. So now we're over by some of the water turtles. You got pink belly sign next. Every time I see these turtles, I get reminded about Camp Kennan. My boy Kennan. Kennan, where you at? I haven't seen Kennan in a while. But yeah, every time I see a pink belly side neck, he just has so many of those and reminds me of him. Got some little musk turtles. Little cooters sitting on top of the plants. Soft shells, soft shells down there. I mean, there's there's all sorts of stuff out here. I'm trying to film as best I possibly can. There's a lot to go through. How was Repticon? Good? Fun? Awesome. Update on the guppies. I'm gonna bring you inside here and just show you the guppy tank that's in the kitchen. Uh, yeah, the babies are massive now, by the way. Not like massive, but they're they're pretty dang big. Look at that. They've gotten so much bigger, it's insane. I'm trying to get a good view of a bunch of them, maybe. There you go, some in the back over there. But they finally start growing like that little gut. So yeah, guppies are good. Beta fish, beta fish are right here. As you can see, there's two of them and one of the glow fish. Everything's good. Beast mode. Look at that, nice fish. Got the platinum red tail down there, chillin'. Datnoid, sure right there. Over here, got our flower horns. There's George Jr. Bam, big noggin head. Look how aggressive, ready? Oh! Oh, they're so aggressive. Axolotls, right here, these are the axolotls I got. So yeah, that's that. Uh, there's an update on the fish, and um, the outside. We got new ducklings, that's the main purpose of this video. Ducklings, chickens to grow out. I just wanted to pick up the camera and really update you guys because it's been like a week. Thank you all so much for watching. I have brown hair now, kind of weird, but I'm digging it, low key. Let me know your opinion down in the comments down below. Don't dislike the video like when I got blonde hair, you guys blew the dislikes up because you didn't like my hair. Please don't do that. If you could, drop a like for me. That would be amazing, absolutely fantastic. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to Praveen T. Love your videos, Paul. I'm from India. I see a lot of audiences out of the country, actually. Just want to say thank you to everyone all around the world. Picture of like the city, you know? Kind of cool to sit, okay. If you have yet to do so already, join the family, hit the subscribe button down below, just click it for me. And you can click the bell after that as well if you want to be notified every time I upload. And if you want to win a positive comment, shout out, have your comment on the screen in one of these equipment videos, all you gotta do is drop a positive comment down in the comments down below, and that is very possible. So, we got four ducklings, four chickens, went to Repticon, and got you an update in today's video. Pretty dope video, huh? Show me that you want to see some more, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.
My mom just texted me, what are you doing? 